Welcome back to Embassy Channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. Hello, hello, how are you today? It's me again, Coach Imratic, your favorite table tennis coach. How to boost the table tennis rubber. I've explained the best way to boost the hard and tacky Chinese table tennis rubbers. Today, you can apply the boosting process for any hard rubber. The hardness should be higher than 52 ESN hardness degree. How to boost a table tennis rubber? Boosting table tennis rubbers is a technique used to enhance the performance of the rubber by increasing its speed, spin, and control. Boosters are essentially chemicals that are applied to the sponge of the rubber to make it more elastic and bouncy. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to correctly use boosters on a hard rubber. The hardness should be higher than 52 ESN hardness degree. Apply one ton, two layers of glue to the sponge of the rubber and let it dry. Remove the protective plastic sheet from the rubber. Apply one layer of booster onto the sponge using a brush or sponge. For most boosters, one layer is equivalent to one brush or sponge soaked with the booster. Allow the rubber to sit in a dry and cool place for one day. During this time, the rubber will start to curl upwards. Repeat steps 3 and 4 until you have applied 2-3 layers of booster.
This is usually enough to achieve the desired effect. Apply glue to both the blade and the rubber when the rubber is not curled up so much. Make sure to apply an even layer of glue to both surfaces. Stick the rubber to the blade, making sure that the rubber is completely flat on the blade. Boosting your table tennis rubber can greatly enhance your game, but it is important to use boosters correctly and follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. It is also important to note that the use of certain boosters may be prohibited in some tournaments, so be sure to check the rules before using them in competition. The Best Table Tennis Booster in general, the best table tennis boosters made in China, they are Haifu Booster and Danny Chi Booster. You can search best table tennis booster Ping Sunday to know the list. Is using table tennis booster detectable? The booster contains the extremely low evaporation oil. The VOC rate is very low compared to the ITTF detection limit, R5 PAM. So until now, using the booster is not detectable. To prepare for the Olympic Tokyo, uh, 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 2020, the Japanese Table Tennis Association, um, JTTA, is working with the Olympics Committee to develop the new protocol to control the racket. This action is to fight the using of the booster of Chinese table tennis players. Everyone knows that top Chinese players use the booster, but it's not detectable. Amateur levels who play Chinese table tennis rubbers also use boosters since the using table tennis boosters are not detectable by the instruments used by the ITTF there is no risk of being disqualified for me I can easily know if a player boosts his rubber or not using booster or speed glue will make the sponge expanded when you hit the ball the sound is much louder and the sound is like bop bop high pitch noise so using the booster is detectable by human experiences. Why Chinese players use the booster? Chinese professional table tennis players use boosters because it can enhance the performance of their table tennis rubbers. Boosters are substances that are applied to the surface of table tennis rubbers to increase their speed, spin and overall performance especially for the very hard and tacky Chinese rubbers, like DHS Hurricane 3 Neo Orange Sponge, DHS Hurricane 3 National Version. During the China trials for WTT 2011, Malin is caught using the booster in his hotel room in the CCTV 5 reportage. There's also the footage shows that Wang Likin and Fan Zhendong was using the racket control tester of ITTF. They want to make sure that the tuned Chinese table tennis rubber will pass the test. Booster is legal or not? No, using booster is not allowed in table tennis. Using booster tuners, expanders, and speed glue in illegal in table tennis, ITTF had stated rule 24.7. The covering material should be used as it has been authorized by the ITTF without any physical, chemical, or other treatment, changing or modifying playing properties, friction, outlook, color, structure, surface, etc. Based on the rule, using booster will modify the playing properties of the rubbers. So you are not allowed to use the booster chemical treatment in the official competitions. Uh, however, using a factory tuned rubber is allowed by ITTF. That means you can't boost the table tennis rubber yourself, but you can buy a, a pre-tuned factory rubber. So uh, if you have your own factory or your own rubber brand, you can use the so-called pre-tuned or factory tuned rubber. That's why nowadays uh, there are many factory tuned or neo version of double happiness DHS rubbers. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.